Now scientists took this principle and they found that if you shone white light through a gas of a particular element and split it up through a prism, you could see a spectrum, but you'd also see black lines in the spectrum. And each of these black lines would be unique to the gas you passed it through. So the experience of the heat, I suppose you could say it's like a kaleidoscope of emotions. I went through fear, love, joy, kind of back to fear, nerves, everything was there. But by the end of it, I was just so happy I'd done it. It was just an amazing, but by the end, I was just drained. Now, when most of us think about aliens, we think of some strange chap like this, living on some exotic planet orbiting around some distant stars. However, contacting life like this is probably going to be impossible, and therefore it may be better to look for signs of basic life, such as microbes that exist in our own backyard. When the other contestants are going up before me, each one, and it sounds kind of bad, and the usual tripe that everyone pulls out, each one was fantastic. And it just heaped, it seemed to heap more and more pressure on me, and I was quite happy to go last before. And then when I saw the people going on before me, especially Tom, and I was right after Alistair, However, it was fantastic. I just thought they both ratcheted up the kind of quality. So yeah, it was a great, it was a great situation to be in, but yeah, nerve-wracking. Global warming and climate change are words we hear every day, and in the coming months and years, these words will impact upon our daily lives in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. In the great climate debate, we're going to talk to scientists, climate skeptics, and most importantly, you, the public, to find out what you think. And you kind of mentally already know who you have as your top four or five. And I wasn't in that, and I knew I wasn't in that. So I was really shocked when they said me. I, I really couldn't, I know it sounds fake modesty, but I really couldn't believe that I kind of got this. And I won the, the Channel 4, kind of, I suppose you could call it the Media Award.